What is going on everybody and welcome to part 9 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to be working in our init.lua file and our testhud.lua file and just removing these parts with the, the ones that are in bold, so the current level, the current EXP, and the EXP to level. We're going to switch those out with actual numbers that we'll be able to change uh, when a player levels up or when a player gains XP and yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start in this init.lua file here. And I want to add a new function here that's going to check when a player initially spawns. So basically, when a, right as a player joins the server and spawns. That's when this function is going to be ran. So what this is, is it's just function. And then gm colon player initial spawn. And this takes in one argument, which is just a player entity. And then we're just going to end it like so. Now inside of here, what I want to check is if the player, the player entity, which is just this argument right up here, we want to get their networked integer that is called player level and see if this is less than or equal to zero. And if it is less than or equal to zero, so we want to then, then end off this if, then inside of here, what we want to do when the networked integer called player level is less than or equal to zero, we want to set it to one. So we do this by doing the player entity, which is just PLY, colon, set NWINT, the name of the integer, which is player, oops, player level, and then we want to set this to one. And now what will happen is, maybe I can test this here, let's see. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to test it, sorry. Um, we'll do that in just one second. So let's go ahead into these on NPC killed and player death events and actually set these networked integers to something. So in this case, we're going to be uh, setting the EXP up 100 every time they kill someone and also setting the player level up one as well. And that's just to test it to make sure that it's actually working. So we do this the same exact way we did this one, which is just the entity, which is the attacker, colon, set nwint or networked int the name of the network integer which is going to be player x exp in this case comma and then we want to get their current exp by doing attacker colon get nwint player exp and then we want to add 100 to that so now every time they kill an npc their current xp will go up 100. So they have 0, it'll go up 100, and so forth. And we can just copy this and put it down here. Then we got to do this again. Attacker, colon, set NW int. But this time for the player level. And we want to first get their level. So attacker, colon, get networked, or NW int, player level. And then just add 1 to that. Again, we are going to change this in the next part, but this is just to test to make sure that's actually responding to this NPC killed event. So let's go ahead and copy this. Move it down here. So both player deaths and NPC deaths are both accounted for. Then we're basically done with this file now. We can go into our test HUD and actually replace these bold numbers or bold strings with legitimate values. And first thing I want to do is I want to create a variable above these just called local space exp to level. And this is just the total amount of experience they need in order to get to the next level. And I'm just going to do a simple thing here. It's just going to get their current level, multiply it by 100, and then multiply that by 2. So we can get the player level by doing the client, which is just the current player that is on the client. And we can do that client colon get the networked integer called player level and then we want to multiply this by 100 and then after that outside of these parentheses here this one and this one we want to multiply the whole entire thing by 2 so if they start out at 1 it's going to be 1 times the 100 and times that by 2 which will end up being 200 exp they need in order to level up to level 2 so now that's done let's go ahead take this current level remove that, and replace this with the uh, legitimate level. So client, colon, get the networked integer called player level, 
like so. And then we can go into the game here and actually see that that level is now changed. Currently it's zero, but I'm going to reload the game and show you exactly what it should be doing in just a second here. And we can change the current EXP as well. Client colon git networked int the player exp and then over this to the exp to level thing get rid of that and we can just replace it with this variable we just created up here which is called exp to level now that's all saved go into the game and all those values should be changed now uh, currently they're not very good looking values but I can fix that just by doing a quick reload here now we get back into the game, all of those values should be changed. That level should become a 1 instead of a 0. And the EXP to level is now 200. So everything's working fine. We just got to test to make sure that this is actually going to be changed when we kill an NPC. Let's go ahead and just spawn a poor little crow and take it down. And as you can see, both the level went up, the EXP went up, and also the EXP to level went up as well since their level went up. So we can just keep doing this, and all three of those values will change constantly. So, everything's working perfectly. That's going to conclude this part. In the next part, we are going to actually uh, make a legitimate leveling system. So when they get to the EXP to level, they'll level up, their XP will be reset, and their uh, everything else will be changed accordingly. So, that next part should be come out on Monday. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time.